The Salvation Army's needs are greater this year as rising costs have pushed more working families into housing insecurity and financial hardship. Some families find themselves needing extra financial help just to get by. Our Kamari Hamer joins us live in Columbus to tell us how a familiar sight and sound are helping the group meet people's needs. Kamari. Just in front of the doors behind me, bells are ringing to be able to support the community throughout the year. Today I spoke with the leader of the Columbus Salvation Army about why those red kettles and bells help families. It's a familiar sound this time of year. The bell ringers of the Salvation Army. Captain Thomas Johnson, the group's commander in Columbus, says those bells are a seasonal reminder of a need that is always in the community. Christmas time is hard for our families. There are people that are having to choose. Well, what am I going to do during this holiday season when I don't have family in town, I don't have the funds, I don't have the ability to make it happen? And so they're dependent on the Salvation Army for that food box. They're dependent on the Salvation Army for that angel tree gift. Uh, we want children to be running to that Christmas tree on Christmas morning, unwrapping gifts. And so you, you buying into or dropping money in the kettle um, goes a long way with us bringing smiles to many families on Christmas. The money raised from the kettles funds the Salvation Army's mission year-round. Those funds that are raised, and our goal this year is $100,000. It's, it's greater than it was last year. Uh, and those funds are used 365 days a year. So it's what gets us throughout the year. So it helps us to be able to love, not just at Christmas time with Angel Tree and those that need food boxes or those that come through our doors at Christmas, but all throughout the year. It expands beyond just this time. The donations have helped many families get through the holiday season and they have changed lives. I've heard stories, a lady was just at Walmart the other day and she is now at a place in her life where she can drop money in the kettle and it was because she went to the Salvation Army, the Salvation Army paid her light bill and helped her get into housing and now she is settled and back on her feet again and so she's able to now put money in the kettle. So she told that story to me and I was smiling from ear to ear because that's the kind of things we want to continue to do. And it's through the dropping of money in the kettle that helps us to be able to have more stories like that. People that were successful and actually took that hand up and, and ran off with it and made something better out of themselves. Live in Columbus, telling your story, Kamari Hamer, WCBI News.